Welcome back to the Daily Business Brief here on the Daily News Network. I'm Jack Sears, your host. Each time we get together, we visit with area business leaders to talk about news, strategies, and trends. And today, we're going to talk about HR. Joining us on the show is Keith Fairchild with Fairchild HR. And sponsoring today's show is Bill Prescott with Heritage Capital Group. Welcome to the show. And Bill is our co-host, so you'll be helping us with this, Bill. Yeah, so welcome, Keith. We're glad to have you here. Thank you. Good to be here. Great. Well, Keith, we know each other and done some business together, but uh, kind of give us the broad scope of all the services that you provide. Sure. Well, <clears throat> I guess the best way to do that is in a story. If you take 10 business owners and ask them what their biggest problems are, the biggest problem is it's getting and keeping the right people. Mm. And it's it's sad because that's so important to their business. And in their, many cases, it's really stressful for them that they can't get the people they need. So <clears throat> we had a business uh, for 30 years. I sold that and re constituted it as Fairchild HR so that we could focus on that problem exclusively, which is working for small business owners only, companies okay. under 500 people, and working only directly with the, the owner. Uh, because, and I don't, don't record this part of it, but the owners are generally the source of most of the problems as well, and so we show them how to fix those problems. So we have to deal with the person that has the authority to make those changes. That's great. Any particular industries, I, I know some other firms, they may specialize in IT people, <coughs> accounting people. Do you have any particular area of expertise, or are you kind of broad in terms of just dealing with small businesses? They've got so many needs. Yeah. Um, we purposely do not have a niche because th mm. our whole philosophy is that finding people is a process. Most people approach it as a personality. I'm charismatic and I, I speak well and I, I'm you know diligent in finding people and that's how I draw candidates in. But we don't, that's not how we approach it. We approach it as a system mm. with a, a multi-hundred step process and we can apply that to any position. And we have from prosthetist orthotists, people that make artificial limbs, to CEOs, to civil engineers, to rocket scientists. We've had all of those. We've filled those, those positions and it, we've proven again and again that the process handles any position. Um, because we develop the questions based on the company. Mm. Interesting. And do you take them through assessment? You know, there's all these behavioral assessments. Do you have a program that you use to try to marry up the person's personality with the position that they're looking to Yeah, take? certainly. Um, a couple different ones. One is, uh, and this is a widely used one, uh, the predictive index for behavioral assessment and cognitive measure. Mm. Um, we also use a product called eSkill, which gives us a library of seven or 800 knowledge questions. And we then compile that into a test for that particular position. Um, and that's really the key because that's how we can determine that someone has you know, the knowledge that they need to do that job. And then we uh, use the predictive index to tell us if it's a good fit with the culture of the company and whether they have the cognitive skills to learn what they need to when they come into a new position. Interesting. And got to ask you, you hear everyone always talks about tight, tight, tight labor market, tough to find people. Mm. How are you, what are you seeing today? Well, it's been tough for the last 20 years. And that's why I got in this business initially is the demographics told me told all of us that we were facing labor shortages and it was something that can't be fixed. It's based on birth rates and uh, we've been in that for years so it's been tough to recruit people and really that's that's why I work with small business owners because they really will say I cannot find the people I need. Mm. I worked with a business owner here in Jacksonville that had moved here from Illinois had a fairly good sized business and he, he said, he made a speech, he said, we may have to move because I can't find the people I need. Oh, and wow. I called him and I said, I can find the people you need. I can teach you how to find the people you need. It's, it's again, it's a process and it's uh, making choices based on how important it is to fill that position. So it's always hard, it's harder in some positions than others at time, but it's really, it's always difficult to find the right people. Um, so that's, 
It's not going to get easier either. I tell you what, yeah. that's, uh, that is an excellent way to wrap up today's uh, segment. Uh, good food for thought. Uh, I've actually picked up a couple pointers too, so thank you for sharing. Uh -huh. and Bill, thank you for uh, for sponsoring and bringing Keith onto the show today. Yeah, so, glad to do it. How would, how would our audience connect with you or to learn more about uh, uh, your business? Sure. Uh, the easiest way is to go to fairchildhr.com mm -hmm. um, or email me directly at keith at fairchildhr.com and we welcome any questions. We, you know, provide help even if the person's not going to use us. Yeah. We get calls from business owners that need help, but they just can't do it at that moment. They can't afford it, and we try to provide help to everybody, no matter what the what the relationship That's great. is. Excellent. Well, yeah. thank you for joining us today, thank and you. Bill, thanks for the show and uh, the sponsorship. So yeah. glad to do it. Well, that's it, folks. That's uh, what we have today for this edition of the Business Brief here at DailyNewsNetwork.com. If you'd like to learn more about Keith, his business, and a lot of other things that are happening here in our community, be sure to visit us at the DailyNewsNetwork.com. On behalf of Heritage Capital Group and Bill Prescott, I'm Jack Sears, wishing you a great day, good health, much happiness, and be sure to treat each other the way you'd like to be treated. The team at Heritage Capital Group is special because it's a collection of people across the spectrum. We have people who have been in the shoes of owners that are looking to buy and sell and professionals that have executed transactions helping buy and sell companies for decades. I think when you talk to us, see what our experience is, see what our skills are, see the reach that we have, you'll be very happy with the recommendation.